Tiny and the 100th Day of School. Written by Carrie Meister, illustrated by Rich Davis. Tomorrow is the 100th day of school. To celebrate, everyone in our class has to bring in 100 items. Jamal is planning to bring in 100 marbles. So Young's dad is a dentist, so she's going to bring 100 toothbrushes. Nessa has been baking cookies all week. I've already made 75 cookies, she says. That means I just have to make 25 more tonight. What are you bringing? Everyone asks me. But I don't know. I can't think of anything good. So I just say it's a surprise. When I get home from school, I ask Tiny for help. He looks like he has some ideas. Tiny brings me all his toys, but when I count them, there are only 21, not 100. Then Tiny brings me some socks. I know you love these, Tiny, but I don't think I want to bring old socks to school, I tell him. Then Tiny has the best idea ever. He disappears for a minute and comes back dragging a big bin of dog trees. That's the perfect thing to bring, I tell him. I make 10 piles of 10 to make sure I have 100 treats total. Wait, Tiny! Those are not for you! Here, you can have this pile. In the morning, I grab my bag of 100 treats. I don't see Tiny when I get on the bus. But he follows me. When we get to school, Tiny greets me. I guess he wants to come to the 100th day celebration. I ask the teacher at the door if it is okay. She tells me that she is sorry, but dogs are not allowed at school. I give Tiny a gentle pat and tell him to head back home. Once I get to class, I see so many fun things. 100 marbles, 100 stickers, 100 mini dinosaurs in a giant jar, and more. Everybody talks about what they brought. Then we add the 100th ring to the paper chain of days. Together we all shout, Hooray for the 100th day of school! That's when I see Tiny. He did not go home. He must have sneaked in when no one was looking. I try to think of what to do. Then I see that he has smelled my bag of dog treats. Stop, Tiny! But it is too late. Tiny is way faster than me. He knocks over everything in his path, including a table and all of Nessa's cookies. I pull the treat bag away from Tiny and tell him that he's being a naughty dog. When Nessa sees that Tiny has smashed all her cookies, she starts to cry. Tiny is sad. He wants to tell Nessa that he is sorry. So what does he do? He gives Nessa the dog treats. Then he gives her a great big kiss. It makes Nessa smile. That's nice of you, Tiny, she says. But I don't have a dog. What am I going to do with all these treats? Then Nessa had a great idea. Let's bring the treats to the dog shelter after school, she says. But first, our class celebrates the rest of the 100th day of school together. Tiny even gets to stay. After school, Nessa and I go to the dog shelter and share the treats. The dogs are very happy. What a wonderful 100th day of school.